Oh YouTube, today we're going to look at what to do when your AM radio doesn't work and you don't think it's worth putting back in, so stick around. Welcome to Retire Ready. So here is my insert that had the old radio in it. Um, here's where the, the dials were on both sides and the face and the push buttons. So what I did is I took some Gorilla tape and I just put it in the back there. And I mean, it looks okay. Doesn't it look like a factory radio delete, but it's, it's okay. But I figured, well, I'm going to try something a little bit different. So and I was actually going to leave it this way, but when I was looking for another part, I came across, or actually was looking for a radio delete panel, and, and I, I did see one, but they had another solution there, so I'll show you what it, that is. So I bought a 12 by 24 inch ABS panel delete panel, I guess. You, you can do whatever you need to do with it. It's about 1 8 inch thick. It's sort of a grainy finish on one side and it's shiny on the other. Now, the finish I got on this one is a bit of almost like a striped finish. So I'm not going to be able to match that, but at, at least if I cut off a piece on the end here, I should be able to make it look half decent here, so that's what I'm going to do next. So they claim that you should be able to score this plastic sheet where you need it to be and should just snap right off. So I'm going to try that. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark it with a marker and then I'll put a straight edge along here and I'll snap off the big piece and then I'll snap off this end piece. So I'll do that. Well, I've got it marked off here, so we'll see how that works. Yeah, three scores. Hey, 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 that worked good. Pretty clean edge. That's good. Now I'll do the same thing for the end. So I scored it two different ways. I, I, I did that one on the uh, rough side. Edge came out fine and I did the first one on the flat side and that came out fine. So it doesn't seem to matter which way you go. So that is good. So I got my piece, it looks, looks good. That, one, that one's gonna replace this particular piece here. By the way, I recommend if you do any cutting or gasket cutting, whatever, Get one of these self-healing mats. Absolutely wonderful. So, it's the PSA right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see it that well, but this has a bit of a wow like this, and then right on the end it has a little kick down. So I'm not sure whether that's going to work for me or not, because this is flat, this piece. So I may get my heat gun and just try to give it a little bit of a wow and a little kick at the end. Let's see whether that'll work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mark my screw holes. There's only two screws that hold this plate in. And these two screws are covered by a, by a, um, a chrome piece that goes around the top. Also, I don't know if you can see, there's a bit of a, right in the middle, 
it sort of angles up a little bit too so i don't know that i'm gonna to have to bend it but it might be just from there's a crack in that there so so i'll cut those little notches out and i'm going to try mounting it now here's my spot where the old radio was and also at the time if i'm not gonna have a radio in there and not use the uh speaker there was a speaker hole uh can i oh there's the grill i took that speaker out too uh it takes up room little bit of weight and if you ever want to do anything that in there now the uh that speaker is not in the way and i and same with the radio it's not in the way you can work on things and and get your hand right behind right behind here and there's lots of room now so i think that's a good thing but anyways get back to this piece here so does fit in the place it does sit up on a lip here a little bit based on that size and on the end here if that's flat I don't know you can't really see it but you can see the shadow there so that's sticking up and this is curved a little bit so I am gonna try and curve this a little bit with a heat gun I think so we'll see how that goes okay, here's my heat gun it's going to be loud, so uh, I'll speed it up, and then we'll see what it looks like at the end. It's curling up a little bit by itself. Had my other glove on. A little warm. Okay, that didn't do it. More. Have to do a little more. Give that a try. Managing to get a little bit of curve on it. If it'll stay or not, that'll be another story. You can tell. Slight curve to it. Not quite as much as on the other one, so I'm going to have to do it a little bit more. But it's coming. I've got an overflow valve or overflow uh, tank for my coolant. I'm almost thinking that might make a good piece to wrap around here. I'll give it a little more heat. Keep that there just in case. Definitely got curve on it now. I can hold that. Probably too much. <laughs> about right on this side it looks a little bit too much on this one side the green hasn't been affected which is I was a little bit worried about it but uh, it looks the same as it did before curve looks almost perfect on the one side but 
It's a little much on the other side, so I'm going to have to heat up the one side and bend it actually back a little bit. Quite malleable when it's warm. Yeah, it's looking pretty darn good. Looks about even the whole way. It's probably a little bit more than what the other one was. Just on this one side. Still a little bit warm. I can still play with, play with it a little bit. Let's try it in the car, see how that looks.